Hey guys, Hershey's Garage here. And on today's video, I'm very excited if you couldn't tell because I've got a new head unit that I'm going to be showing you. It's a seven inch touchscreen from In Accessories. And I'm, like I said, pretty excited because this thing is cool. So stay tuned and find out all the good little details that this thing has to offer. Okay, guys, like I said, welcome back to my channel. This is Hershey's Garage Plus Guns, and you're going to see uh, this in accessories brand, seven inch doubled in car stereo uh, with Bluetooth capabilities. Uh, a backup camera is included, so you don't have to spend your hard earned cash on that. And then it's got voice control, CarPlay, Android Auto, Mirror Link, uh, Bluetooth, AM, FM car radio receiver and it does have that am on there like a lot of them don't and then an aux input so uh anyway uh this is just going to be uh this video is going to cover the an unboxing so what you actually get when you get it to your doorstep you're going to see me unbox it and then we're going to go through some of the uh features of it like pressing some buttons type features of it and that way you can get kind of a, a feel for whether you like it or not. Um, because obviously, like me, I went in blind, not knowing what the heck this thing was all about. And I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, so uh, let's get to it. Let's, uh, here's just a, a few things that you get. Uh, obviously, you can see on screen here. Um, it, you do, it is compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, voice control, mirror link. It comes with a handy dandy little remote which is awesome. That's cool. My kids are going to love that. Uh, I'll probably never get that stupid thing back. And then, like I said, a backup camera. Uh, so, uh, and then of course, uh, let me show you the price here. It was $169.99, which if you looked on uh, Amazon lately, that's not too bad, especially when you're going to get all this plus the uh, remote and the camera together. Yeah, you're it's it's a winning package um so basically it's from in accessories that's the, the the brand of the radio uh it's a seven inch doubled in car stereo uh like i said uh you uh, have multi-function controls like siri um what else uh, like i said bl bluetooth built-in microphone supports music or phone book download the free external microphone offers better sound for quality uh, phone calls. Uh, yeah, it does have an exter external microphone, which you will see when I unbox it. Uh, yeah, and you will just have to go from the back and then you can stick it anywhere you want. So it'll be, you can have it closer to your face, your mouth, um, wherever, far away. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, the microphone actually is pretty good, but uh, it is an external microphone. So you have to uh, uh, be aware of that. Um, like I said, which is not a big deal, but um, it, I, and actually I prefer that. Uh, it's got a 30 band equalizer, um, four play modes, up to four different audio input modes, including USB, aux, Bluetooth, and TF card, um, mirror link, and then uh, steering wheel control. Uh, looks like uh, it has that uh, capability, so you don't have to get a uh, external uh, little mod module that uh, talks to your steering wheel controls. Looks like this thing already has it in there. I don't have that, unfortunately, on my car, so I will not be able to test that, uh, which is kind of a, but um, uh, yeah, it's got that, so that's awesome. And then, like I said, the rear backup camera, all the accessories that come to put that in there. Yeah, that's, that's cool. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, here's some pictures of the back, if you want pictures of the back. And then this, this is, um, uh, the height and the length of the actual stereo itself. So just make sure that that is kind of compatible with your your uh, uh, car. Uh, like on mine, I have a, uh, uh, I'm going to be putting this in a 2011 Nissan Altima. And of course, the Altima has got to be a little harder. You have, you do have to get, and I think on most cars, you're, uh, you're going to have to get a separate uh, little faceplate and um, uh, then on, seems like on most cars, you'll have to get 
uh, an aftermarket harness uh, kit that uh, allows you to plug in. It does have the uh, uh, plugins back in here, uh, right here, you'll see uh, from the stereo, but in order to, for the stereo to talk to, obviously the car, you're gonna have to get either a harness kit, which is much easier, or you have to cut the factory wire harness, and I don't like to do that. So uh, I you will probably have to get the factory or, uh, excuse me, an aftermarket uh, wiring harness, and then most likely you'll have to get a uh, an antenna, aftermarket antenna, uh, to talk to the antenna on this, your aftermarket head unit which those aren't that big of a deal. I bought mine and the total I think came out to like 13 bucks. So for both of them. And then the faceplate was a little more. I think it was probably uh, a neighborhood of like 25-ish. Um, so that's gonna be the bigger expense is the faceplate if you have to have to do that. But there's the measurements right there. So just make sure that you, you measure it and, and confirm. Um, so let's get to the actual radio itself. I'll show you the unboxing and what we get. Okay guys, and here we go. Of course it comes in the Amazon Prime uh, outer package. And here the beauty is. And they have it nice and packed well. It uh, didn't, didn't move. And the best part about this is that they sent this package super fast. I mean, the, I, it must have been within about two days I, from ordering this to them shipping to me getting this. I, I swear, about two days. So kudos to In Accessories for um, sending this so fast. I mean, it was awesome. Um, but here is the outer package. And then of course, we have to open it up to get in the good stuff. And right away, we see that we have the accessories and the actual camera for the stereo. And this, this is the camera, little tiny guy. So actually a not decent little camera, but we'll set that aside. And then you get, looks like, uh, we'll pull out the manual. You actually get a manual, yay! A lot of them don't come with that or it's really cheesy and this looks like it should actually be pretty thick. So this one actually might work out pretty good. So we'll set that aside. And then you get a installation tool, which is awesome. That way you don't mar your surface like when you're trying to get into the uh, uh, original factory faceplate, you can get underneath there and pop that out without, uh, like I said, marring the surfaces. So awesome, kudos to that. Uh, then we have some original, uh, if you don't get a faceplate and these work for you, this is the back to secure it to the car itself. And sometimes these work, and a lot of times I've found that they don't work um, because, uh, there's usually gaps in between where the, the radio goes and the faceplate uh, on most of my vehicles. Seems like I don't get lucky enough to where I can use these. So it is cool that they, they give them to you, but uh, most likely, I don't know. It just seems like I haven't, especially on like the Nissan Altima, these aren't gonna, these aren't gonna work. And then the big thing is the actual stereo itself. And you know what I love about this thing? is it comes with an actual volume knob. That is so cool. Because nowadays, usually it's those stupid push buttons. And these actually have buttons that you can press. Not just not just a, a, a little uh, spot here, like say for the home, and you press on this, the little side screen. And these actually are a button that you have to press. So that, I mean, that is just so awesome. I love that feature. But anyway, we'll set that one aside. And then what else do we got in here? Other kind of goodies. Uh, that's where it's packed in. And then of course we have the, uh, looks like the remote. Yes, it is the remote, which is pretty decent. Let's open that up. We're not gonna, it's like kid on, kid on Christmas. We're just gonna rock it. So here's what the, the remote looks like. And not too shabby. Got a, got a bunch of buttons here that I think we'll need, like especially like say the phone and uh, obviously uh, volume, um, band, so you can choose AM, FM, 
uh, all that good stuff. So yeah, cool. You can, it looks like you can even dial from uh, the remote. So awesome. So you got that. And then the stereo, this goes into the back of the stereo. So this is stereo harness. And is it marked? Yay. Okay. So, and they gave you a little hardware, but it is marked of the different accessories and stuff that you can put in there. So cool. Awesome. All right. So let's uh, hook this up and then I will show you the actual screen and we'll go hit some buttons. When you first turn it on, this is your home screen. You can hit the little home screen button and whoops, that went to the, there we go. There's your home screen. That went to the radio. So this is what you're going to see right off the bat. So it looks like you have your clock right here and let's see if you can change it. So you hit the clock right there, that little button, and then you've got all sorts of options uh, changing your clock here. And that must be the uh, little settings on What's that? Oh, okay. So it automatically goes into the settings settings page. So that's just a shortcut cut into your settings for. So let's go over what we've got in the settings. You got your little uh, looks like a screwdriver and a wrench there, so you can change your language. Obviously, uh, I'm in English, so I'm gonna uh, keep that on there. Uh, brake detection. Uh, so uh, you can either turn that on and off. Uh, beep. So when you press the little screen here it'll go beep uh, oh yeah I want to keep English so how do we do that oh and then you got you got your back button up here so then you got key lights um, LED by illumination and all those we want to keep on there uh, and then you can scroll so reversing mute so when you reverse uh, like when you're playing the radio or your um, listening to your music that you uh, have downloaded in there. This will obviously either uh, mute it or not. Um, Auto F cam. I'm not sure exactly what that one is. Uh, we'll have to look in the, the manual on there. Uh, let's just hit it though. Let's see what we got. Oh, that just turns it on and off. So we're gonna keep it off for now. Uh, then we got panel. Um, and let's hit that, see what we got there. Oh, touch correction. So this kind of dials in your touch. Uh, so let's go back on that. Set back and then radio. Surprisingly, it's very intuitive on the touch. I mean, it's the touch screen is very, very sensitive. Um, radio area, so either USA and I'm sure like you can go to Europe and all that. Um, and then you got more on there, logo. So you can change your logo. Let's go with, uh, oh, here's some download preloaded uh, stuff in there and I have a Nissan so I'm gonna click on that and then I guess we can look for more or we can go back yeah so I got it on there I'm gonna put that Nissan on there and I'm sure that's gonna go uh, when you hit the home screen let's try it see if my logo comes up hey where's my logo that must be I guess when you first turn it on yeah, okay, so when you first turn it on, it's gonna come on like that. So let's go back to the settings. So, oh, there's settings right there, though, right in my face. So on the left-hand side, you got your settings. Um, so let's keep on going down there. Logo, and then about, so is that my, uh, this is just the app version and MCU version and all that. So technical decals. And then going back to default settings, you can hit that button right there. And then is there any more? Nope, that's it. So what do we got here? This is the next one down. Um, oh, and this this is basically you get your equalizer here and then the loudness filter, uh, emperor balance, and of course bass. So you can do all your treble and all that stuff right here. So uh, that's pretty neat. And then we got down here, you have an, your aspect ratio. Uh, obviously, I guess for your downloaded uh, movies and videos that you can do on this thing, um, you can adjust your brightness continuity, hue, uh, all that good stuff. And let's see what else we got down there. Oh, that looks like it's it. Okay, so next down the list, uh, that, okay, that's the time. So you can change all that in here. Uh, then next, this looks like uh, your pictures that you can download. And here's some of the preset ones in here. 
Uh, and I think this is, that's the one I have in there now, but let's put that one on. Yeah, these are kind of goofy. Um, you can put in your, your other ones via the USB cable. So, uh, I would suggest probably doing that. Uh, and then let's see, what do we got? Oh, car. Okay. So this is your steering wheel control. Uh, this is how it learns. Um, like I said, I can't do that right now. Um, but, uh, this is the menu that you would do to uh, do each one. And it just, yeah, please press and hold a uh, steering wheel con uh, key. And then it will learn, like if you're going uh, volume up, then you'd hit volume up on your stereo or your, your uh, steering wheel. And then hit that. And then I'm sure it prompts you to, to uh, hold it. And then it will learn that one. So pretty cool. Uh, and then what else do we got? Okay, so that looks like it on the uh, the controls there. So let's go to home. So you can either hit home with this. I love these buttons. Instead of having to hit these ones on the top, uh, I'll hit that one anyway. But uh, I love that there's actually physical buttons. And like I said, here's that volume. You can turn it up and down. And I love that. And of course, I guess you can do it on here. Yeah, but I, I much much rather have the dial on there. So you have your quick, your quick uh, screens right here for Bluetooth. Looks like you can turn your Bluetooth on from here. So you can just hit that and then it comes up with the device name that you want. Uh, so if that's your device name, then you would hit that and then input the code and you're good to go. And then it looks like you can do, uh, I guess the, the pairing right here. These are all, of course I'm not on Bluetooth, so I can't do that right this second, but those are the modes that you have. Um, once you do that, uh, and it looks like you uh, can put in your contacts and stuff like that. So mm, that's pretty neat. Uh, let's go back. So then you, now you have your radio icon here and you'd hit that if you want the radio. And let's get it on a station here and see if we can find something. Okay, so here's your presets right here. Uh, this is, must be your local or um, uh, or uh, the far away one, I guess. Uh, this is to search from your uh, oh yeah, from your your actual preset stations in there. This must be to uh, put it how you put it in, I guess. So let's try that. Let's go to an actual station like uh, 90. Sorry, I'm going through here. Oh, and I don't have the, uh, well, that's why it's searching because I don't have the antenna hooked up in here. Obviously, I'm not going to get anything. Um, let's see with that one. Uh, so basically you have all your, your options here that, uh, you would with a normal stereo, um, to get your presets and stuff in here. And then looks like you have a quick dial here to get your equalizer and all that good stuff right off the bat. Then you can press that back button and then let's see what this little guy is here. Oh, so you can input like if you want to instead of going along the line there you can go like say 97.5 and go right to there so that's cool okay because I, I was wondering how that works um yeah that's pretty neat i'm gonna go ahead and turn that down because i don't need to to hear that that stuff but uh so you have a plenty of options on there for this and then we'll hit go back um and then here's your usb uh to uh if you have a a little scan disc you can insert that or your uh or your usb into the uh, uh mix here and do it right here from this little screen and obviously there's no device in there so i can't do that but you have a little spot here where you're going to put your card right in the corner right here and i know it's going to be hard to see um let me put a little light on the subject there we go right here that's where you're going to put your little card and uh so that's that's uh pretty handy dandy and this is obviously i'm going to open up where you put your 
uh, USB connection right into here. And then you have a little spot for your aux connection right here. So everything's on the front. You don't have to worry about running wires in the back and out the bottom or anything like that. Everything's on the front here. So uh, that's that's really neat. It's all handy and, and good to go. Um, uh, and then, okay, those are your those are your main presets. And uh, let's see, is there anything else in there? No, I guess that's it. Um, here, right here, you have your, I guess, uh, voice command, uh, Bluetooth. Let's hit that again to see what it says. Oh, please connect Bluetooth. Yeah, so you can say, uh, like, hey, Siri. Um, I'm sure by hitting that button, it's all voice control activated. So, um, and then on the bottom here, we have, of course, our phone. This is how you're, when you have hook up your phone, that's where you're going to find it right there if you, if it doesn't automatically go to it. So let's hit back. And then you got option for the, I think that's the radio. Yep. So these are all kind of be redundant, um, looks like. Uh, so you can either control them from here or up here. But let's see, this this must be the, where the actual apps are that this thing has. Okay, so we're going to go, we're not going to go right there just yet. Um, let's go back to the home. Uh, okay, stop going to the radio when I hit that. Okay, so, oh, okay, and you keep hitting them and then there's the apps that, that come up. Oh, okay, so these are the first apps, so it's not a scroll no, oh, it is a scroll. Well, now let me let me scroll that way, but I can't scroll this way. Yeah, I guess I can. Huh. Okay, I just wasn't hitting it hard enough. Okay, so they're all redundant, redundant, I guess. Instead of using these bottom ones, it seems like it's easier to use these top ones. But let's go ahead, skip over to the next part of the bottom here. This is, like I said, this was the, the brightness. And you can kind of turn it down or put it on night mode and black it all out. When you're driving at night, that's very handy. Then you hit it to come back up, and then this looks like to be the, your photos. So you hit your photo there. And, oh, it changes the background of the photo with this. That's kind of a weird little feature. Um, I mean, kind of nice, I guess, if you have a whole bunch of photos and you want to just scroll through them on the back, you didn't, and you don't have to go through the settings. You can just hit it right here. And like I said, it's just going scrolling through those those pre-downloaded ones, so I guess that's okay. I don't know why you'd really need that, but anyway, um, that's pretty cool. So uh, here's the three that were on there in the beginning, and then of course you can just scroll through, and then now you have three more, which, that, or you can hit this button here, but and then of course the setup, and we went through the setup before, so I don't think we need to do that. Um, phone link, this is going to be your mirror link, and let's hit that. Okay, so basically you're going to, if you want to do uh, like Android CarPlay, CarPlay, hook in your USB to your phone. Uh, this is wired, not wireless. So you're going to hook that in and hook it into your phone and then you get the dual screen. Um, and I'll have to show you that here in a second. Okay, so let's get to the Android Auto. I've got my other phone connected and I've got my phone here. So what I did was put my USB uh, connection in here the wired connection and then obviously plug it into my phone and let's see what it goes to first okay it's connecting and then it's gonna go right to the uh, screen where this is their their Android uh, autoplay or carplay screen so you got basically your um, uh, GPS and then music, and you can hear it, so I can turn it up. Yeah, it's bumping right now, going through one little tiny speaker. But so there's the Amazon music, let's pause that. And looks like if I want to go to the music part there, I can either hit that, and here's the music that comes up, the music screen, or I can hit that to go back to there, or we can use this little button right here on the side and that goes to all the different options that we can have and if you're familiar with uh, Android Auto these are pretty much standard on on all the uh, Android Auto, Auto features um, let's see what else those are okay you got your podcast weather whatsapp settings smart things and then customize so yeah pretty much all the 
the same standard settings, Messenger, uh, News, all that good stuff. Um, and then I guess this must be your, yep, same thing, your media suggestions um, for uh, 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 Amazon Music or whatever you want to go through. And then let's see, what's this guy? Oh, that's the notifications uh, for text, so it must be able to read your texts and stuff too, which is awesome. And then this is just a quick little uh, um, same thing as this, I guess, to, uh, let's see if we hit that. Oh, that blocks it out. Uh, hit that for volume. And then this must be, oh, just to have that go somewhere else. And then, of course, you have your Siri or whatever, your uh, uh, Google Assistant right there if you hit that. And that's basically it on that, guys. So that's... The, uh, this is Android CarPlay. I can't show you Apple CarPlay because I don't have an Apple phone. And then, what is that? It's one of them for mirror link. Uh, so you can see your phone on the actual screen and do it that way. Um, and then the other one is for the Android CarPlay and Apple CarPlay. So yeah, you got some options there. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then of course, Aux. That's one you'd hit uh, in the back. It gives you... Um, uh, a few options to uh, obviously add like a uh, external DVD player or something like that for the kiddos. And that's where you would access that right there. Let's hit that one. And okay, and then uh, here you got your micro SD card. Uh, so right there, that's where you'd be putting in your micro SD card. And this is where you'd be accessing it. it is right there. And obviously no device in there, but that's a quick little... Uh, access point right there and then you have your dash cam or um, not your dash cam but your um, backup cam and of course i don't have a signal right here because it's not hooked up into my car but that's how you would access that if you uh which is this is actually a really cool option it looks like it gives you not only can you do a backup because it says when you put it into reverse obviously like any other one that your rever reverse uh, signal will activate it and then you'll have your reverse uh, camera up here but you can uh, wire it to um, see this I guess 24 7 too which a lot of these these uh, head units don't have that to where like say if you're I don't know, towing something and you want to uh, check in the back real fast, obviously, and you can't hit reverse and you're driving down the road and you want to be able to check your camera. This has got that option where you can check the camera and check out behind you. So that, yeah, that is, that is so cool. I've been, I've been wanting one of these uh, and I didn't think that this had that, but that is such a cool little option. And then the rear view cam. Oh, that was for the front. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so you you can have two options. You can put two cameras in here because it must have another uh, uh, outlet in the back here, which let's flip it up. And it does. So here's the back outlets here. And it gives you plenty of options to be able to pl pl plug in another camera, not just one. So you can have a front facing camera and you have an option of choosing that one. Let me get you. Or you have the option of choosing your rear camera, like I said, so it's the same, same th uh, principle. You can uh, do it manually by obviously putting in reverse or uh, uh, doing it just like this. And if you hook it up right, you can see the rear facing camera. Obviously, like I said, I don't have it on there. So that is sweet. Awesome. And then help. Next one, this has got to be the last one. And let's click that. And this just gives you as a sales and tech support uh, via their email, which is right there. And that, my friends, I believe, yeah, that is all that sh uh, she wrote on there. Okay, so that was just a quick review on some of the features and some of the buttons on here, uh, basically all the buttons on here um, uh, that they have. Uh, and I, of course, I forgot these ones, the band on here. So you have, uh, instead of doing on your radio, you can click it right here and you can go through the FM2, 
FM3, and then AM1, AM2. Uh, so you have three uh, choices on your FM, so you can have, um, looks like up to uh, 18 choices there, uh, and then uh, 12 on the AMs. And then the mode, I guess instead of, yeah, okay, so you just go through, uh, instead of doing the presets on this right here, if you click mode, you can go to home and or wherever you're at and hit mode and it automatically goes to your Bluetooth connection um, to uh, access that if you want to like, I, like I said, I, I use your Bluetooth stuff, uh, dial or whatever. And then you hit mode again and that looks like it goes to uh, the aux in. So that can be like your front forward camera or uh, or whatever you have that, that goes into that aux port right here. Um, looks like that's, uh, that's where that goes. That's how you access that. And then this goes to the Android uh, auto link. The next click on the, the mode. And then the next one goes to your radio. And then back to your, back to your Bluetooth. So those are the, the, the buttons on here on the front there. And then, of course, you can hit that back to your home screen. So here is the In Accessories 7-inch touchscreen. Beautiful touchscreen. I love that. Like I said, very sensitive. Uh, touchscreen display uh, with all the, all the goodies uh, built into it. And like I said, it had a few extra ones like the front forward facing camera option that you can put uh, in there and uh, view that screen. So... Uh, without having to have an external screen. Um, awesome. And then, like I said, you got these little, uh, the uh, manual knob for the the uh, uh, volume control. So, uh, this, is, this is going to be uh, wrapped up right now. And then the next video, like I said, I'm going to show you how to install this baby in a 2011 Nissan Altima. But you, they give a list on what... Um, this can be installed in, and it's pretty much uh, a standard. You can install it on uh, a ton of different uh, vehicles. Um, it's just you have to, obviously, like I said uh, before, uh, earlier in the video, you have to measure this to make sure that it's going to fit. It's a, it is a double DIN, so uh, you're going to have to measure it to see if it fits in your, your slot where you take out your old radio and like I said before, most likely you're going to have to get a uh, separate dash mount kit uh, to or face paint kit to be able to install this and make it look nice and pretty. But they give you basically all the other good stuff to to do it. And uh, it looks like this thing's going to be an awesome radio. So if you like this, guys, give me a thumbs up um, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. Uh, hit that notification bell because, like I said, I'm going to be putting this, uh, show you how to install this in that Nissan Altima. Um, uh, it's going to be easy as pie, and uh, it, it, it'll, and I'll give you a generalized uh, version on how to uh, put in it in any car, basically, but it, it will be more specific to the 2011 uh, Nissan Altima. So, love you guys. And I'm going to wrap this up. So uh, I will see you on the next one. Peace.